Uh, there's a long history of association between cannabis and epilepsy that stretches back thousands of years, even as far as evidence in Ayurvedic and other traditional medicine forms. Um, and even this continues today with the use of medical marijuana to control seizures in some countries, such as Canada and in the, in the United States. However, cannabis has some major problems associated with it, such as the psychoactive effects and the fact that clinical trials in this regard haven't been conducted. Epilepsy is a disease that affects around about half a million people in the UK and millions of people around the world and around about 30 to 40 percent of people with epilepsy don't get good control of their seizures, the main symptom, from the drugs that are already on the market. So there's a major unmet clinical need there that we're working hard to uh, help fill. Our approach to studying cannabis and epilepsy is different from that which has been done historically as we've specifically focused on the components of cannabis that don't get you high, that aren't psychoactive, and we've looked at them in a very, very purified form as individual compounds. What our current result, our new result, reveals is that cannabidiverin, CBDV, a very understudied and ignored plant cannabinoid, exerts very good anticonvulsant effects, better than any of the other plant cannabinoids we've tested, and it's very, very well tolerated when it's administered. Looking to the future, in the short term, we've got some important experiments to finish off that will allow us to take CBDV into human clinical trials. And a decision with the trial is one that our research sponsor wants to make early next year. In the medium term, a positive result there obviously offers significant hope for that 30 to 40% of people with epilepsy who don't experience full control of their seizures from existing medication, and also the even larger group of people that experience significant side effects with currently available medicines. And so at present we're looking very firmly towards 2013 as a very positive year.